Hi, my name is Amy Mozzie and I'm with Centurion Boats. And today I'm gonna walk you through the biggest boat in our lineup, this nearly 26 foot RI257. Let's check out why this thing cranks out the world's best waves, wakes, and ride. So the RI257 starts at the water level. This boat is unique because not only is it 26 feet, but it's got a 26 foot long OctaV hull. What does that mean? This hull is a modified deep V that displaces more water with less weight while creating a very symmetrical wakeboard wake and preserving a great rough water ride. So it does three things that are seemingly unrelated really, really, really well. And that's what this boat is known for. It's why we use it to tow the World Wake Surfing Championship every year. It pulls our pros. This is the boat that everybody wants to surf, wakeboard, and just hang out in. And let me tell you a little bit more about why. Not only does the 2020 RI257 create the world's best surf wave, it has a system that moves it from side to side in 1.8 seconds. QuickSurf Pro is a system of two plates mounted on either corner of the rear of the boat. The plate opposite the surf side goes down into the water creating lift, which digs the surf side corner or displaces water on the surf side corner. This creates a wave, and whether it's regular or goofy, you can switch it to the opposite side in 1.8 seconds. This makes transfers of breeze and switching between riders even easier. The Stinger wake plate that comes standard on the RI257 changes the running attitude of the boat. It has a setting from zero to 100, and you can control this at the dash. It's very easy, and it actually does three different things. It can change the shape of your wake surf wave, it can change the shape of your wakeboard wake, or it can get the nose of the boat down when the most aggressive part of the V is cutting through the chop for a really rough day on the water so that the boat is not riding rough when you're in it. It does those three things really well in conjunction with this running surface. The optional silent stinger wake plate is available on the RI257. Now not only does this wake plate change the running attitude of the boat, and go from zero to 100, anywhere you wanna set it, it takes the noise of the engine down. What it does is the exhaust goes through the plate and tumbles through a series of baffles with water that's forced into the bottom of the plate when the boat is underway. This not only makes the boat quieter, when you're operating and on the inside, it also takes that exhaust line out of your surf wave, which can sometimes trip you up if you're uh, on a skim style board. Once you step onto the 257, you start to realize just how big this boat is. But even as big as it is, it still does the little things so well. Even for somebody that just wants to hang out on the back of the boat, there's cup holders in the swim step. You've got a whole rear seat um, that is the rear trunk of the RI257 to sit on, to relax, to hang out, or even a place to prepare when you're getting ready to ride. This boat has thought of it all. It may be limo size proportions, but every detail is to the nines. As you walk over the sun pad of the 257, you've got a nice pathway to use. Uh, you don't have to step on your upholstery. And when you're ready to stow some stuff away, if you open those rear hatches on either side of the engine, you've got two specific storage centers that are built into the underside of those doors to take ropes, towels, small things that you don't want rolling around in those gigantic storage areas. Like I said, they've thought of everything. When you step down into the RI257, it becomes abundantly clear that this boat is made for 18 people. 18 people and all of their stuff. It is a stretch limo on the inside. There's storage underneath every lounge seat. You've also got versatile seating, so I can get optional pop-up lean backs on the passenger side. I've got a lean back on the driver's side that allows the person sitting behind me to actually see the rider. And you've got slide seats and a second available slide seat that can move in five different positions with lean backs that can plug in facing forward, facing back. We've also got an available table. 
This interior is huge and it can be configured any way you need it to be to support 18 people. So even though this boat's nearly 26 feet long, there's a place for everything, a specific place, even your trash. So now we've got this great little lid that accesses the trash can area. I can throw my trash away easily. So there's a lot of seating in this boat, but every seat is within reach of one, probably two cup holders. You've always got a place to put a drink and you don't have to make somebody to get up to get that drink. You've got an ice chest, a grizzly ice chest that comes with this boat and it's in the floor. The access hatch is right by the driver's seat. You've got another ice chest that's in the walkthrough that takes a normally wasted space in a boat and makes use out of it with an ice chest. So I've got two different access points for drinks and a whole ton of cup holders. The 2020 RI257 has a new driver's seat. It's the Cobra racing seat. Why? Because it kind of looks like a Cobra, but it's high backed like a racing seat and it really supports you. It's extremely comfortable. But one of my favorite things about this new seat, other than the increased height, is the swivel. So I can swivel this thing 160 degrees. Why is that important to me? Because now I can participate in the conversation going on in the lounge. And when it's time to go, I easily swivel back around, not hitting the side panel, and I'm ready to go. As well as being the largest boat in the Centurion line, the RI257 has the largest amount of ballast available in it. 5,550 pounds in seven different locations throughout the boat. So this definitely creates a big surf wave, a great wakeboard wake, but at the same time, there's some other logic behind it too. By that ballast being evenly distributed throughout this boat, you can cut down on bow rise. So even though this is a big boat with a lot of weight in it, when you are weighted for surfing or weighted for wakeboarding, the driver never loses sight of the horizon. You don't have to worry about standing up to see over the bow. It's also a very efficient running hull. So because that ballast is evenly distributed, the boat rides level in the water and creates more lift underneath it. Believe it or not, even with all that weight, lift. What does that do for you? That saves you money at the pump. This boat uses 50% less fuel. Uh, that's just something that you have to experience, but let us prove it to you. The side-by-side -side touch vision dash in the RI257 is a multitasker on the water. What I mean by that is the dash has two different screens that work in conjunction with one another when you want them to. But when you want to do two different things with this boat, the dash can accommodate. So let's say I want to have my GPS mapping up on one screen, but I'd like to have my ballast locations up on the other. All I have to do is hit ballast and I've got both screens dueling at the same time. So it gives me the ability to do two different things at once because that's what this boat allows you to do. Because the hull of the RI257, the OptiV hull, is what really makes our surf waves and wakeboard wakes, it's what causes that displacement. We have systems that form the waves in quick surf and we have systems that change the shape of the wakes and waves in the stinger wake plate. Those three plates working in conjunction with one another can also do another really cool thing. They can get you on plane in six seconds. This is quick launch. So quick launch is a button on your screen that you touch and all three plates go down on takeoff. What this does is allow the boat to take off level, no bow rise, you never lose sight of the horizon and you're on plane even weighted fully in six seconds. No doubt, you gotta try it. So when you're sitting behind the dash of the 2020 RI257, it's beautiful. It's color matched to your interior. The stitching can even be color matched. But the real power of this dash is the function. I'm not saying that the paddle shifters aren't just as beautiful, but they're extremely functional. They allow me to control my stinger wake plate without taking my hands off the steering wheel. I pull the paddle shifter on the upside and it goes up. I pull the paddle shifter on the down and it goes down. It's simple to use. If I want to accelerate my set speed or decrement my set speed, I can do that on the right hand set of paddle shifters. It's easy and it looks really cool. 
The RI-257 is available with the Roswell Drop Zone Tower. This tower, it just goes with the look of the boat. It's a beautiful tower, but the extrusion that's used on it is not a typical tube. It's actually a teardrop shape. What that does is gives the tower extra strength, about 40% more strength than a typical tower. What does that mean to you? It's quiet. The other thing about this tower, it folds automatically with a button press. It goes down in about 14 seconds, up in about 17. So if you need to get under a bridge or you have some headroom restrictions in your storage facility, this tower has you covered. The drop zone tower is beautiful and it's strong. It functions really well, but it has some features on it that even add to that functionality. So there are side tow points on this tower. You've got pylon heads on the starboard side and the port side of the tower. What does this help you do? It helps you get a new surfer into the wave without having to start directly behind the boat and then drop off that cliff that the RI-257 makes behind it. It makes it easier for them to start off and a lot less intimidating to learn to surf. The four hangers in the top of the drop zone tower allow you to hang ropes, vests, towels, anything that might be wet or needs to be up and out of the way. That's extremely useful, especially when you've got a boatload of people. Then you get to the optional components on the drop zone tower. So the cover fire stereo system from Roswell. It's a stereo system that allows you to shoot sound back to the rider and adjust the volume of the sound that's on the interior of the boat or the speakers that are shooting down into the interior. So you don't have to blow everybody out on the inside of the boat to get sound back to your rider. That's one of the greatest features in this tower is the sound that it creates. It makes some noise. We talk about the performance of these boats and how well they do on the water, how efficient they are, and they are. But they're also really quiet, which is very rare in a boat this size carrying this much weight. There's a lot of reasons for that quietness. Part of it is the running surface of the hull. It's extremely efficient, like we talked about. It doesn't stress the engine. We're surfing fully loaded, sometimes at 3,200 RPM. So the engine isn't loud. Then you add the optional Stinger wake plate, which takes the engine noise down even further. But let's add to that. The construction of the boat is built so this boat is more quiet. We use a process called vacuum infusion, which takes the boat and constructs it in a way that eliminates all air voids and elim eliminates the possibility of any resonance of prop thrust vibration or water noise throughout the boat. You add that to our unibody construction, which fuses the main systems of the boat, the hull, the deck, the stringer system together to make one piece. And there's no rattle. There's no mechanical fasteners in there. This is why these boats are so quiet. I mean, as quiet as a kitchen dishwasher, about 86.4 decibels quiet. You gotta check it out. Let us prove it to you. With the limo size proportions of the RI-257 and the cab forward design, you know, you've got this huge lounge, you would think that you would sacrifice space in the bow. Think again. This bow is deep, it's comfortable. It's got a filler cushion that can be put in to make it a playpen, take it out to make it a small lounge. You've got speakers up there, power points to charge your phone basically anything you need to hang out on the water. Thanks for watching the walkthrough of the 2020 Centurion RI-257. This boat is as impressive as it seems, but don't take my word for it. Visit your Centurion Boats dealer and let us prove it to you.